So where do we want to go from here? Hello, weird. Hey, Space Weaver. Let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires, as long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be knit to serve your passage. What if I make conflict right here in this room? Huh? How do you solve that problem? How do you solve that problem? Anyway, let's go ahead and give him the star chart. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? Converting star chart. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calipers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four. Three. Two. One. Everybody make it in one piece. Great. Was that a concern? Did you think we weren't going to make it? Because I'm a little... I'm a little concerned about that that concept. Where's this door going to take us? I could also go down, I guess. This door is locked. Alright, let's go down then. Yeah! What's around here? If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. This nav scarf looks like some weird stuff like from the, uh... Was it the Wanted movie? Where they're like, I predict the future via... Yarn. It does look like a talon. Oh yeah, it does. I didn't see that before. Can I eat this guy? Nah. He might have germs. I hope you're not talking about me. Hey, Space Weaver. Want a little robot friend? There is no room in the Space Weaver's life for friendship. He slides alone, like a shuttle of yarn, across the warp of time, on an ever-shortening thread. Yeah, that's cool. Gary's a loner too, so... Well, then I'm out of here. Since he wants to be so, so goddamn lonely. You can enjoy yourself. By the way, I get why they gave me the spoon. And See, old school adventure games had a taste option, like King's Quest and stuff like that. Or a Space Quest or something, if I, if I remember correctly, where you could, like, you could lick things, just at random. And a lot of, I think a fair number of games had that for some reason. And so the spoon is kind of the stand-in for that right now. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cub. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <laughs> this is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. Go on, lower the shields. So that guy's definitely that guy. That guy is absolutely in a costume, right? Because like he's, it's not a wolf. His mouth doesn't move when he talks, and his eyeballs move weird. And you can clearly see like a seam between his body and his head. All right, so what do I do from here? Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject. Then press this to engage the grappling. I've never been more excited in my life. I got it! Great work, Shay. Now the boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean, our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Position the ship so the cargo booms can grab one of the creatures. When it comes to choosing a creature, you must trust your I'm pretty sure we're not saving them. I'm pretty sure we're kidnapping them. Careful. This is not good. Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? 
Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from... Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Shay, are you the master of your feelings, or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. Those were the cops, weren't they? I'm pretty sure they were the- I'm pretty sure those were the cops. Looks like we're back- right back in the territory with Shay of doing sort of repeating story missions. Alright. They're gonna set me, set me in some, to, into some repetition. Let's go ahead and hop back to the other, other character and investigate. So they talked about their... They had like some sort of leader type character. Let's see what we can investigate from here. Can I get to, can I get to this store? Oh, I can actually safely get here. Do you sell shoes that allow me to walk on the clouds? Oh, look! She's got like a whole table around here that probably makes her not fall th not fall through the uh, the clouds. Careful! Ah. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone. Is all. I'm sunk. <laughs> Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> so, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? Uh, my husband and son? Uh, what do they do this time? Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off with her head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are since I lost my knife. Oh, <laughs> I just feel bad now. I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony Lightbeard? The supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no! Shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Only when I'm feeling sad. Like when I lose my knife. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, oh, my work. Well, now that I've ruined someone's life, I'm just gonna... Just gonna wander out of here. Can I look at her? Oh wait, don't I have a knife? Oh no, I don't have anything on my character at all right now. What happened to my knife? Did I lose it when I... Cut that person's thing off? Or is the knife up there in the nest when I fell out? Really, I have nothing in my inventory right now. Huh. Alrighty then. So I can go off to the right, and go down the ladder, I can go off to the left. Let's try the ladder, maybe? 
Maybe if I go down the ladder, we'll find the knife where it landed. Hi, green lady. Just hanging out being green? Is that your MO? Man, I hope that's not a real bird. I mean, it's definitely not a real bird. I don't like the way that one's looking at me. It don't, it's not looking at you, you're fine. They're weird, like, paper mache stick figure things. Like the wicker man. Hi. Hi. So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. I'm gonna sit here forever. What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. I was in a Maiden's Feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Uh, yeah, I didn't get picked either. Probably because of that shabby dress. Hey. Sorry, I only said that because I'm sad. And because it's all torn up and stuff. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. She's really negative about this whole not being dead thing, isn't she? Any knives around here? Can I... It only skips to these objects specifically. Huh. Alright, well, I'll just get out of here. I like that you can instantly click on a door just to skip up it instead of having to walk all the way there. That's handy for time. Am I currently wearing the shoes? I assume. Just my size. Am I wearing them? No way. They're just my size. I'm keeping them. I meant to give I meant to put them on you. There we go. Now with these shoes I can walk around on the uh on, on the clouds, right? There we go. Problem solved. Let's check out this left area. It's really astonishing how dead set people are are on dying in this universe. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Offering? It's empty. Yes, that is why I said that thing about making an offering. Hi, are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh, yes, excuse me, Father. No, Fathur, like a light, beautiful feather, but lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh. Weird. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Huh. <sighs> Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. Keep your head out of the clouds. These people have all lost their minds. All right, looks like I have to find an offering. I might need three offerings, judging by the number of bowls. Hopefully I can use something besides these nice uh, shoes that enable me to walk around. Maybe. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, we've done we've done more exploring and meet and greet around here. Let's hop back to our spacefaring adventure. 
I think we're going to be spending a lot of time in that town talking to people for a while. So I got a new star chart earlier. So I might as well just set that into course. Hey buddy, how's it going? Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? It would be elementary. We're going to an elementary school? That sounds terrible. Decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five. Four, three, two, one. No need to applaud. Just doing my job. Guy takes a sweet time saying all that stuff, doesn't he? Okay, we should be in Danger System 5. Are we ever? Take a look at this. What has happened? Careful. I got this bra. Excellent. Securing subject in cargo hold. Might start skipping the dialogue in the part where he's trying to tell us trying to try to navigate. Sure to save. Look into your heart, young. Great work. Are they making fun of RPGs that have decisions in them? Because none of these people mean anything to me. They're all the same. Wait for it. Good. But hurry, we're running out of time. Where else are the other ones? Guess I gotta keep navigating. I didn't notice the map last time. I was just kind of... Oopsie. I was kind of just randomly exploring before. Uh-oh, he's moving. Why is he moving? Is he panicking because he doesn't want to get stolen? Okay, that's enough. What do you mean, that's enough? I mean... Enemy ships are approaching. I don't see anything. I need to save this last one. You're going to endanger the whole mission to save one creature? Just give me a second. Yeah, excuse me. This is a waste of time. So yeah, no need for he's clearly some kind of villain. I think it's pretty much straightforward at this point. Okay, I got it. But something's wrong. Cut it loose. We need to retreat before... Attention! Ship is under attack! What happened? Probably one of the enemy vessels I warned you about, remember? We need to get that last creature! Too late. The ship is retreating under autopilot to a safe location. And we're completely locked out of the controls! How are we going to perform any more rescues? We'll have to find another way to hack into the boom arm controls. And another way to bring the shields down at the right time. And who knows if we'll be able to navigate to the right system now that the ship's on high alert. The ship's computer must be freaking out right now. Oh yes. <laughs> as soon as the alarm sounded, the first thing she probably did was check on you and your... Busted. Shay! Shay! Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, sweetie. Um, something mm -hmm. attacked the ship, but Mommy's taking care of it. Nothing to worry about, okay? <laughs> Looks like Dad's investigating something down there. Oh, so brave. I bet we got caught. So brave. I'm asleep. <laughs> as far as you know. Whew. Better get back to Merrick to hear his plan. So can I get back there now that we bro we, we broke the... Uh... <laughs> Ships under attack. Everything's fine. I don't know if we can really... Uh... Can I look at the... Can I talk to Dad? No? Huh. I don't know how how I'm gonna get back to Merrick now that he I don't have a distraction anymore because the uh, the uh, the balloons popped unless I can just fix it. I've tried throwing a towel over that thing, but she always pulls it off. You mean a computer is smart enough not to be foiled by a by a towel? 
ship under attack, everything's fine. Well, you're half right. I don't think I believe you. 